when they'd be going to the fairs in the morning, if they, the first one they met was a red-haired woman, they wouldn't continue on to the fair. They met out, they wouldn't sell her, they wouldn't have any look and they'd turn home. Say now, if you were going to Ferris Galway and you'd forgot something there about a rope and you're only a mile out the road, and no matter how important it was, I reckon you should never turn back for it. Why, it must be bad luck as well. Yeah, a lot of people have mm. that belief as well, yeah. If you happen to put on your jacket or cardigan inside out, leave it inside out for the day or you'll have bad luck. Yeah. You'll have good luck but to leave it inside out. And they do that, they used to do that. They would. Leave it inside out. Wearing green, the colour of green. I know some people wouldn't wear it because they thought it was bad luck. They had some, something against that colour. I you think it's the green of Ireland? Just I almost. know, but... St. Patrick wasn't bad, you know? <sighs> say now if I was walking down the street and I had a child with me, and say if she came up now and said, oh, your child is lovely. But she never said the child, like, God bless the child. They reckon you had to go home and put something red on your child. But if she did say, God bless the child, you wouldn't have to. Yeah. Do you know, if you didn't say, God bless the child, you were overlooking the child. Or, you know, the open fire, that's another thing. If a coal fell backwards, oh. uh, that was a visitor coming. Mm. Yeah, that's the and old the, people the, like the, the fire kind of sparkled out and you know, they said there were money, money, money was coming money to you. Were, money or fight. Money. Money. I heard. There was yeah. fight too put into it, which wasn't good. <laughs> yeah. That mm. was now about the coal. Mm. The jokes then as well, you know, if they were squeaking and screeching and everything. That was a visitor that should become it. Okay. They had that going on, the old mm, people, mm, as well, mm, if you heard the jokes. Mm -hmm. Oh, there'd be some uncommon, they'd say. They used to see visions in the fire. Oh, Jesus, yes. They could, <laughs> they could figure out what, if this call was this way. And they'd talk about it. That's, you know, there was no television or radio. And they time. certainly knew what the weather was going to be like, according to the colour of the flames. Yes. Did you ever hear yeah, them say that? Oh, the rain, the, the rain is coming. Look at the colour of the mm. flame there. There'd be a kind of a purple hue on some of the flames. Another thing was, if you sold a range, and sold it with the ashes in it. The house that got it was very lucky, but the house that gave away the ashes wasn't. That's the first time I never had that time, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you'd be lighting your fire outside? Well, it wasn't like now when you had fire lighters. You brought a coal out of the fire. That's right. To start to burn whatever you wanted burned outside. Rubbish or whatever. Do you know what and you mean? had to go out first and be in a sod of turf and put it in the fire yeah, before right. you took the coal. That was superstition as well. If there was lightning, which there used to be great big thunderstorms long ago, that isn't now, that isn't Mary. No, not often at all, no. And they'd put out the dogs and everything outside and cats for fear they'd bring in the lightning. Oh, the dog is supposed to the draw dog, lightning. Yes, yes I've yeah, heard the that. Dog the dog is dangerous yes, to have in the yeah. house if you have lightning. Oh, yeah, and cover yeah. the mirrors and everything. Yes, other turn thing. the mirrors inside out, the mirrors. you know, from the wall. Or if those bicycles near, cover yeah. the handlebars. Yeah, anything with yeah. steel in anything it and things like steel. that. The, the, yeah. the material in the yeah. bikes would draw the lightning. But no, yeah. they don't, mm. don't bother at all yeah. about that, mm. you know. But another one uh, we used to know here was uh, at after 12 o'clock you never threw out water. Without saying "hugaja hugaja tisk yasala," the the fairies were outside, so don't disturb them. Mm. And I remember my mother, the last time she was seen you going near the door with some water, don't throw that water out. She'd say, because the fairies, you drench the fairies. <laughs> we're so frightened of the fairies in time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you, you wouldn't you throw out water once it got dark at night yeah. because the good people might be passing. That's it. Yeah. You weren't supposed to do that. No, no, no. I used to hear my grandmother saying that when uh, our son now be going out to the fair and he'd be intent to buy sheep or cattle and when he'd be leaving the house she'd take the tons of them and throw it out. out the door after him, you know. You know, for good luck, that yeah. means good luck to her. I don't know, but some sort of... Oh, yeah, if it was her yeah. That he'd have good luck in buying goods, uh, quality sheep or cattle, whatever he was buying. When so, they were going off in the honeymoon, whatever oh, way they'd be going, they'd throw yeah, the tongs after her for tongs. luck. And no yeah. coal in it. Huh? No coal no, in no, it. No, no, just the tongs. Just That's the tongue. right, <laughs> I've heard of that, all right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't mm -hmm. hear that now, they, right. used, they used to do that, all yeah, right. Yeah. If you had a child plague set in the house... Right. As a matter of fact, I was looking for one for Mary's wedding, a big one, and I couldn't get it. I could only get a small one in, and I was going to cut it out. 
and it's supposed to bring the bride and groom good luck. Mm. You'd put her out and put flowers around her, around him, around her, I said, around him. And it's supposed to bring the bride and groom good luck. And it's it's very, very lucky to give the child a break statue to someone. Mm. Very lucky to get, you know, child a break statue. And that was another thing then. If you had boyfriends you liked, you'd get this envelope and you'd put a name on each corner. And every every Friday, I don't say Friday or Sunday, you'd have to tear a corner off and you couldn't look at it until the four were, the th- fourth one was in it. And whoever was left on that corner, that's the one you'd marry. <laughs> we were sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't marry them when I think back now. <laughs> uh, a woman after childbirth, they used to go to church for the ceremony, you know, the priest. They call it church. They call it, she's gone to be churched. And if she went into a, to a neighbour's house or anybody's house, they wouldn't. they wouldn't want her in, as though she'd bring in bad luck when she wasn't churched. Sure, the old people now, long ago, they would never wear bright clothes. And she no, like the old people long ago, they'd no. get married with a, on a, with a black coat yeah. and a black hat, <gasps> and they'd die in the same yeah. coat and yeah. hat nearly, yeah. because yeah. they couldn't afford no, to they buy couldn't clothes. Afford it. Yeah. But they wouldn't yeah. wear bright they clothes wear bright like clothes. we're wearing now, no, you know. No, no, no. 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 Well, my but, mother uh, did now in later years. Well, they would in later years, yeah, but uh, they did. always had yeah. black. They'd get married in oh, black and they'd die in black. A wedding ring, you put it onto a piece of thread and it was it was many times for a boy, three times for a boy, four yeah. times for a girl. But the boy would have to, it'd have to swing to the left for the boy, right for the girl. And then it was saying how many children you'd have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd go up and down like this and many times then it fed itself as how many children you'd have. No, it's strange like <laughs> they told me I was having ten and I didn't even have one yet. <laughs> And another thing, when they put down a clutch of eggs... That's right. If they came to under, they'd... They'd be no birds in them. They'd be no birds in them. They'd be no birds in them. And if there was any noise, any kind of say, a hammer note, any kind yeah. of noise, kind drilling. of noise, or drilling or anything, you know. Or maybe sometimes a hint, if you put down a clock on hint, we call it, and the clock on might go to her, and she'd be, we, you'd think she'd be there, and she'd be gone, and the eggs would be no good, they'd be as cold as ice. Yeah, remember? and the luckiest thing in the world was the one that hatched out, said, and came in with her nine chickens. That's right, yeah. It yeah. was awful lucky to Sometimes see her coming from under the hedge and you wouldn't know where you she came from. You wouldn't know where she came from and the chickens would follow her follow in. Follow her in yeah. and she would be delighted. Oh, stop, yeah. You know, another thing, and I shouldn't be telling it at all, is what, put a bit of wool into the wall. Far, or oh, if I say this, you'd die laughing. Is it, a little, is it a pair in a shoes or a pair in a stockings for the ban oosle? Did you hear that? No. What's the ban oosle? A weasel? What's wrong with oh. you? Oh. Because the weasel won't come then and bring your chickens in summertime. Oh, I know. Is that heard. good? If you had the wart in your finger or in your hands or hand, you'd rub the, the slice of wood of it and then bury it in the ground. And when it should be rotten in the ground, then the spud, the wart, would be gone. I'd try that one. That worked all right. My dad had a cure. He he licked the belly of a lizard. lizard. And if you had any sore at all, I don't know if you licked it. it we had a cure there. Whether that was right. But honestly, I remember some one of the kids had something when we were young. And he did. It was a sore on her wrist or something there. And, you know, after a week it was healed. Yeah. When you'd see a magpie spit in your hand. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Like this, yeah. yeah. I reckon it's good luck as well. But they say if you meet, or if you first thing in the morning, or if you meet the red-haired woman as well, to do mm. clamp. You know, <laughs> can keep bad luck away from around me for mm. the day. You know. If you saw one magpie and you're going off on a journey or into town, put your hand in your pocket if you have any money in it and twist it around. Right? Something will happen. <laughs> It'll be taken on you. <laughs> but even even in shops, um, when I worked years ago, there was an old <coughs> man worked in the place, and he would be very upset if somebody returned something first thing in the morning. He liked to get money first thing in the morning. 
you'd have a good day then, or a good week, you know. And they really believed that. I mean, he used to get positively angry when I think back, if somebody came back on a Monday morning particularly, to exchange something or return something. It was going to be a bad day. And then there's that saying as well, you know, that um, the statue of uh, the child to praise it. Yeah. Always have a bit of silver underneath it. Strange, like, yeah. you got me one then now. Yeah. And I always have a bit of silver under it. Always. Yeah. They reckon that it's lucky to have it, but they reckon if you don't have a bit of silver under the child to pray, it's bad luck in the house. And then there was another tradition that when a cow would calf, and I've seen this myself, my father-in-law, he used to get a coal out of the fire with the tongs and he'd go over to where the cow was standing up and he'd bless her right around in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, right in under the cow, right around after her calfing. If you had a baby in the house and you had to be going out, and you'd leave the cradle or the pram or whatever, you'd have the child in, in the floor, and put the tongues across it so that the fairies wouldn't bring the baby. And they believed in that. If they were going out, outside now, and the child was inside in the house and the baby would be asleep, and they'd get the tongues and they'd leave it beside the cradle or the pram, whatever. So the, no, that was over the fairies now, you know, in case the fairies would come and take the child while they'd be gone outside. So I showed to God, the child was still there when they came back. <laughs> <laughs> it must have it worked. Still, it must have worked, yeah. Anyone that came into the house wouldn't get out. Again, without giving a hand with the churn, because there'd be no butter. No. It, would never, it wouldn't come to butter. It would be milk all the time. So they had to do with that. Fair as they take the butter. Yeah. <laughs> when you went into any house that would be making a churn, they wouldn't say, uh, you had to put your hand on the churn and just give it one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, or you take, you take the butter or the fair as you take the butter or whatever it was like that. But uh, And another thing they used to put was a, a little coal of fire. You used to do that no. under the churn no. before you started. The, no. No, no, the, no, no. Yes, no, no. We used to do that. Yeah. The woman next door always put a coal under the churn when she'd be churning in case that the butter would be brought, that the fairies would bring the butter. Uh, when you have a cow meat, you put your thumb into the foam of the, in the <laughs> meat bucket. In the meat bucket. Yeah, there's all froth after milking the cows. Yes. And you do this and the fire the cross on the cow and the cow is back. Yeah. Say goodbye, and thanks be to God. What is that? True? Yeah, that's right, yeah. No, I never. Did it, I did it all the time when I was young. But when I came to Kilmaine, they weren't doing it, so I stopped it. What a bitch. <laughs> you dipped your finger or your thumb into the milk and you put the sign of the cross on the cow. Say that was, say that was the cow. was a cow. <laughs> <laughs> the care would that come out again with the day? <laughs> oh, gee, I'm ashamed. Some people, then, some people have that awful freckles in their faces. Oh, yes. And they say if they wash their face in buttermilk. Yes. That would take away the freckles. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, I don't <laughs> know either. The cow would calf, and when you'd milk her first, you'd boil all the milk in a big pot and bring her round to your neighbours, a big quart sauce for of it. <laughs> That's what was done. Yeah. When we were young. Well, the people who lived next door to us on Leap Street, they kept a cow out the back. I don't, the cow was grazed by grace and favour up the street in another man's land. Mm -hmm. And that cow would be brought down and brought into the house. And there was a lot of little houses on our street that hadn't a lot of money to spare, so they wouldn't have a quart of milk no. bought from the milkman. But they might take a cup or a small jug and they say, run down and get a drop of milk in so-and-so's house. Well, if you died for that sub milk, you had to wait until the cow was milked and the can of milk brought in and three teaspoonfuls of holy water put in it. Oh, really? Yeah. There was a, a well in the next village. I won't mention the village because it's not too far away. And... Uh, it was supposed to holy well and people used to go there and leave something in it and everything. And someone ploughed in close to us. And it changed overnight to the next village. Mm. And it's still there. If you ill use a holy well, 
uh, it goes from one place wherever it has been to some other place like if you wash clothes or let cattle maybe drink out of it or something like that it's supposed to be bad and the holy well will disappear to some other place and did it wait in that other place? It did. Place? Mm. Mm -hmm. It did. Do you reckon that if it takes a long time for a kettle to boil, that it would say, it's like holy water inside and it'll never boil? Yeah. <laughs> because no one it, it, it boil holy water. No one in the right senses anyhow to try and boil the holy water, you know, because it won't boil. I don't know if anyone ever tried it now. Yeah. <laughs> Down our way, there was a man used to, no, I saw it been done. There was a man used to make a uh, putchin. And he had the steel and, um, or oh, what used to call it, um, the very first drop that would distill out of the, it came out in a little pipe, I saw it myself, and that had to be thrown out to the fairies. Oh, yeah. The older people, they used to line the daisies at the back door to stop the fairies from crossing them, because the fairy wouldn't dare cross, you know, because they believed that, the fairies come into your house and they steal, to steal the child. So that kept them out. To cut down a hawthorn tree that would be on its own in a field. Yeah. Or that. You'd see them there standing a long time. And they wouldn't bring well, in a bunch wouldn't. of hawthorn, you know, the flower. No. The hawthorn flower. They thought that was unlucky. Yeah. I often heard the weeping willow wasn't lucky. But I never heard of anything else, no. I didn't anyhow, I Sally did. No. Uh, the weeping willow was not supposed to be a look of thing to bring in. That's all no I heard of. I know my oldest girl now, Captain, when we came from America, she writes, but she, when you're away, really, you forget. And I was very proud to put her in the pram and go out with her. <laughs> my granny came out after me. She said, where are you going? I said, I'm bringing the child for a walk. She said, you can't bring the child for a walk. She said, you didn't put salt. So she brought in the pram, and I don't know where she put the salt, whether it was under the child or over the child. Then I could go for the walk. But they believed in these things. They reckon that if you're walking along the road, and if there's three shadows, two of them is yours, but one of them is off of that person. Because they reckon sometimes it could be someone that's minding you, or it could be an evil spirit that's with you. And if you see a man coming along, and it has to be a man, if you say hello twice and he doesn't say hello back to you, don't say it the third time. Now that's when the three shadows is with you. Because they reckon the hair will come to you then. Now how true it is, I don't know, and I don't want to find oh, out. Yeah. <laughs> heard that one, yeah. That's true, yes, yes. I have heard of two that were walking one night, and this woman was after dying, and the, the, her shadow came with them walking. And one man nudged the other fellow not to say anything, but he did, he asked her some questions. And he went home, and he went to bed. And he never got out of bed again. He he died, and when they went in to see him, they couldn't believe it was the same man. It was supposed to be entirely different, that he was taken and something oh. was left. Mm -hmm. And some people hated a frog coming into the house. That's Other right. people the hated sign of rain, too. No, the sign of death. Is it? Yeah. Or a robin? No, well, a robin, I don't know, but down our west yeah. was a frog. Uh, a robin, a power way. If a frog came into the house, it was the sign of death. Yeah. I know the woman next door, her um, son was killed in the war, and she, she reckoned that the, the, frog, that the frog did come into the house before her, but sure the frog might come in in any case, you especially in wet evening. weather. <laughs> They've got scared snow. <laughs> they just don't say, yeah, if a robin yeah. comes into the house, and you can't get them out to be a death in the family. Mm. I always said that. And I do believe in that. Oh, I, I believe in that. I believe in that. I do. Because I know an awful lot of people now, Robin, came into the house. Mm. And the next day or even that day, someone had died belonged to them. Definitely, yeah. yeah. I'd have a lot of bad luck at all. <laughs> but all the Robins that comes in. Yeah, I had... I had oh, I had, stop. I had, I had four this year, little Robins. The real Robin, you know. Mm. They're lovely, you know. Mm. But I think he was uh, God like that. That's why that was he went to help our Lord pull the horn, the thorns out. Yeah. That's why his breast was red. Yeah. yeah. The robin is supposed to be unlucky, and if he comes into the house, mm. it's supposed to be very unlucky that somebody connected the family will die. But he came into our house, and all he did was he broke a cup, mm. 
and I got called him and he went out and that was it. 